ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் விர்ச்சுவல் எம்சி தமிழரசன் இயர் ஃப்ரம் சென் இவெண்ட் எம்சிஸ் என்டர்டெய்னர்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ரொஃபஷனல்ஸ் ஈவெண்ட் எம்சி எம்சி மேனேஜர் எம்சி ட்ரெயினர் அண்ட் த ஃபவுண்ட் ஆஃப் தி அபவ் பிராண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கரண்ட்லி ஆன்லைன் ஈவெண்ட் ஆர்கனைசர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ஹவு டு ஹோஸ்ட் அ கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ்லி ஃபார் தி ஈவெண்ட் எம்சிஸ் எஸ்பெஷலி தி எம்சிஸ் ஹூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஹோஸ்ட் தி விர்ச்சுவல் இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ வாட்ஸ் அ கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவ் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஹோஸ்ட் இட் வாட் ஆர் த எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் அ கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் தட்ஸ் வாட் வீ ஆர் கோயிங் டு சீ திஸ் வீடியோ So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their uh, uh, employees about the different aspects of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their audience or to pass on some information or to let them know about the future plans of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their audience or to pass on some information or to let them know about the future plans of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their audience or to pass on some information or to let them know about the future plans of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their audience or to pass on some information or to let them know about the future plans of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting this event to either educate their audience or to pass on some information or to let them know about the future plans of the business. So basically what's a conference? I can see it's an official event. A company is hosting so this is the basics about uh, uh, these are the basic things about uh, conference and of course it's an official event so basically an event anchor should know whatever the event he or uh, she is going to host or uh, he or she should know that what is the event flow when i say event flow it's nothing but start to end how does the event is going to start and how does the event is starting and uh, how is it going to end what are the elements uh, that's uh, contain in between this start to the end that is called as the event flow for example if i i need to give an example i would say a birthday party in a birthday party guests they walk in the evening and then mc takes the stage conducts some games and then the birthday baby comes on to the stage they have the cake cutting then have some wishes or wishes on stage dinner dance this is what the event flow for a birthday party same way when it come for a, cor- a conference corporate conference event i have an event flow let me explain you the basic event flow for a virtual i have a basic event flow for a physical event and then i'll be sharing lot more tips for an event anchor to host a virtual con- conference event so here we go the first step that is the event flow for a physical conference event first thing would be mc introduction and welcoming even before the formal event starts probably mc or someone else usually they give announcements saying that uh, event is going to short uh, start shortly or is uh, waiting outside you can come and get it all those announcement get over after that once the mc takes the stage or uh, mc would be giving the introduction and also the welcoming welcoming uh, for the audience and then uh, there may be tamil thai varthu or any other form of uh, songs uh, to have the they call it as the induction song or the uh, uh, invocation song so that happens and the most of the time it goes with tamil thai varthu or whichever the thing is for that particular state and then we'll have lamp lighting because of course across india any of the formal events it happens they start in a traditional way by light, uh, lamping the uh, by lighting the kutthu like they call it as the uh, kutthu vilakku with um, five threads in it uh, uh, they do that and uh, of course uh, beyond religion in most of the corporate conference events they used to have the uh, lamp and then there would be welcome address again the mc would be inviting someone from the organizing team or from the company to talk about uh, to welcome the dignitaries and also the audience that's called as the welcome address and then there would be honoring of the guest whoever the guests have come will invite them onto the stage in the welcome address the person would have just mentioned the name and title and um, mc once again would call them to uh, receive a bouquet or to receive the shawl or whatever what of the form of honoring uh, mc welcomes the uh, <coughs> organizing team member or uh, someone uh, from the uh, head of the company or management members and they would be handing out the bouquet or they would be um, wearing the shawl on the uh, guest and then would be the speeches once honoring is over we would start the speeches where uh, guests would be called one by one and during their introduction mc would be reading out the entire script until then mc would not give the uh, mc would not read out the entire script of the uh, speaker she would be in e or she would be introducing only the name the designation of the company name but when the speaker is going to speak mc would read whether it's an half page introduction or a full page introduction mc would be reading it out and when i say reading it out it's not just reading mc has to be a little informal when i say informal mc has to say it in her own way in his or own way after grasping all those things all those points about the speaker mc has to or project it or mc has to convey it in her own way or in a different way rather than just reading it from the script and then once the speech is over uh, you can open the session for question and answer session or maybe question and answer session can be at the end also once the speech is over mc comes to the stage thank the speaker and if possible or if needed mc can sum up what the speaker has uh, spoken or mc can highlight some of the key points what she liked or what the audience enjoyed and then the mc invites the next stage or next uh, speaker this is the way the conference goes and finally mc calls the um, organizer one of the persons from organizing team to give the vote of thanks and then mc sign off uh, signs off and uh, then you have national anthem this is the normal way or i can say general agenda for a corporate conference event there may be here and there slight changes but this you can have it as the 
thumb rule or you can have it as a general guideline you can uh, make changes like sometimes you can change the order sometimes you can add some more new thing in the order like you can have uh, cultural most of the time corporate conference events or i mean formal events you don't have any entertainment over there you don't have much audience interaction from the mc but sometimes uh, may organizer or the management may give approval for the mc to engage the audience to conduct some ice breaker games in the case mc needs to be prepared with some of the games as well to engage the audience mc either can get down the stage and go to the audience and speak or maybe mc being on the stage she can conduct some games for the audience when it's audience engagement you can get inside the audience you can ask about uh, ask them about how much they are enjoying the conference you can have some tongue twisters you can throw some quiz like you can design whatever the way but majority of the case the uh, corporate conference event would be a formal event however i would request mcs to be prepared with backup plans as well for the entertainment part also so this is in regard to the physical event now let's come to the virtual event whatever the event flow i have said uh, definitely entire thing would not be applicable for a virtual event when i say this lamp lighting or whatsoever most audience engagement getting inside the audience and speaking because when it's a virtual event everyone is going to be at their home just consider if you are going to light a lamp where are you going to have it and who is going to light it so maybe you can plan some alternate way of uh, doing lamp lighting like uh, uh, people can have candle at uh, five different places and uh, they can show their candle so that which means that they have lit the first uh, thread of the lamp it can be planned but you need to decide whether you are going to have it or not so now let me explain you the event flow for a corporate conference event in a virtual event that is in the virtual world so basically as always mc is going to give the introduction but uh, apart from physical event in virtual event mc has to be very strong in technical aspects as well that's one thing which uh, what i always suggest the virtual mcs it's unlike the physical event uh, you have to be uh, well versed with the technology you should know how to operate uh, zoom or whatever the uh, software you are using whether it's a zoom youtube or airmeet or web cisco or whatever the online streaming platform you are using you should know the basic functionalities basic technical features about it and you should keep the audience comfortable and also should keep the speakers comfortable because you are an event tanker yes of course you have learned all this you have mastered all the skills about the video conferencing software but the audience for them most of them it may be the first time uh, experience visiting the zoom or even sometimes for the speakers so first place you have to keep them comfortable so what are you going to do you will give the technical instruction about the platform you will tell the audience that uh, before we start the event i am going to give you some technical announcements where you can find the chat window how you can communicate with us i'll be putting on mute some of the time and uh, how you can unmute or when we will unmute you all these technical instructions are before and uh, mc has to convey to the audience same way mc has to make sure with the speaker about this mute unmute function about the chat window about the screen sharing basically mc should tell the uh, speaker that uh, whether uh, mc should check with the speaker whether he or she is aware of the screen sharing uh, facilities and whether he needs any support on that and uh, he or she, uh, she will tell the um, uh, speaker that uh, we will put the audience on mute throughout whenever he wants uh, we can unmute the audience or we will gather the questions from the chat window and uh, we will uh, shoot the questions to you so this way you have to keep the speaker as well comfortable or else speaker also may be little panic like okay i need to focus on my speech at the same time i need to monitor the chat window also but when the mc gives the option that sir you don't worry about the chat window sir we'll take care of that any technical issues we will take care of that you can just focus on your delivery we are there to support you when you give this confidence to the speaker they can give their best uh, in the in form of the in the in the delivery that is much more important than managing the technical aspect that's the reason mc and the event team are there so this is basic thing uh, which i am highlighting again and again mc has to be thorough with the basic technical functionalities convey that to the speaker convey that to the audience this is the first thing second as always you have to be prepared about the speaker you should know uh, um, about the speaker you should collect the introduction about the speaker from the organizer and also once we get a chance to interact with the speaker maybe i don't know i would be getting a chance in the virtual meet in physical event i always go to the speaker i tell them that sir this this i have a basic introduction about you but can i get something more from you like your hobbies or your personal interest which most of the mcs will not do and most of the event organizers also will not do and most of the celebrities or speakers will not reveal until you ask sometimes when i ask them they'll say edukku padala why do you want this uh, let's let's say let's keep it very simple i tell them no sir maybe one or two things which people are not aware of you some personal information which is not that confidential or something which you would like to highlight to public for example when i interviewed a cine celebrity he said that i like to ride cycle and i never uh, horn in my bike or my car whenever i go i, do, I don't make a create noise pollution i always interact with people my next door rather than interacting with social media so this way they try to tell their positive side or they try to uh, 
uh, convey certain uh, hobbies of them. So in that way, if it's a virtual event, maybe before the event starts, if you're going to interact with the speaker or if you're going to interact with the speaker in WhatsApp, you can try collecting some additional information from them, which takes the MC from one step to the next higher level. When you give a little more introduction about the speaker, a little bit on their personal note, not going too personal, something that can be shared with public. So try to collect as much information about the speaker and always you should be over prepared. If, you're, if your speech is going to be like if your introduction is going to be for one or two minutes, which means you have to prepare for at least five to 10 minutes. For example, if you are going to highlight only four or five points about the speaker, then your draft or the introduction what you have got should have at least 15 to 20 points so that you go through that again and again and then select some of the top points, some of the top key highlighted points and you can talk about it. It's not mandatory. You need to give the complete introduction about the speaker. You need not read the entire 20 points, rather just read it, make a story out of it. Don't have the script. You can have the script as a guidance for you, but always don't look at it and read. You just have the script. You talk to the uh, audience uh, very colloquially. That is when I say colloquially, a little informal way rather than just uh, like uh, instead of uh, reading it out in a converse or uh, in a conversation way, you can uh, converse with the audience uh, as if you know the speaker for a long time or as if you know the entire story of the speaker. That's the way you should connect with the audience. So that's one uh, important thing I would like to say, collect as much information as possible about the speaker and you do the homework, you collect some key points, you share it with the audience and beyond that, if you have time, you can share some more additional points also. So this is uh, with regard to the speaker introduction and you should know the entire event flow. Sometimes uh, some of the events will have multiple MCs. If it's a two days, three days conference or even in a single day conference, morning they will have one MC or they will have one MC for one session, another MC for the another session. But still, I would request MCs to collect agenda of the entire event because you should know which event you are hosting. You should have the pride. You should have the feel that yes, this is what the event I'm hosting. So even if you are going to host a small part of the event, when you know the entire event agenda, so when you talk to the audience, you will talk with 100% conviction about what is this event all about. So try to collect the entire agenda of the event and definitely you should know the complete agenda about your session. If you are going to handle only one speaker, so you should know uh, who is speaking before the speaker and who is going to speak after the speaker. And you should get up an entire introduction about the speaker. Once you get the stage, you thank the previous speaker and you start giving the introduction for this speaker in your own way as I explained before. Once he speaks, start observing him. Most of the time MCs don't observe the speaker, rather they do other work. Start observing what he speaks, try to make some important points what he has said, what, what are the points you like, what are the points audience enjoyed. So collect all those points. At the end of his speech, I like a couple of points saying that, 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 that was quite interesting. I personally enjoyed it and also I could see audience were uploading. I could see the audience reaction when he said this point. So you can highlight a couple of points and then you can thank him and then you can invite the next speaker or uh, you can hand over the stage to the next MC. So you should know about uh, what is the agenda before your event and what is the agenda after your event. And also you should do a lot of branding for the organizer. That is very, very important. Most of the time MCs would forget to do. So when I say branding, you should talk about uh, who is the organizer, uh, organizer of the show. Uh, you should uh, say the name of the show, I mean name of the conference. Whenever you get a chance, you have to say it's not that too much of branding, but at least once or twice before you start or, and, or after you finish, definitely it should come at least once about the conference name, about uh, the uh, title sponsor or whoever is the organizer of that event. So these are the basic things I wanted to share as a tips for the MCs who are hosting virtual conference. And now I'm going to share a few tips about uh, the technicalities uh, in Zoom or any other software. Basically, uh, let me explain with the Zoom. So if you're an uh, event anchor, as I said in the beginning, uh, if you're a virtual anchor, you should definitely know the technical functions. Let me read out some of the technical functions, like you should know how to log in in a Zoom. What are the ways you're going to log in? Because after logged in, if someone pings you saying that uh, people are having issues in logging in, actually the event organizer will take care. But sometimes as an MC, as a responsible MC, you can share it over the mic. That is, you can share it in the event saying, you can guide your friends. You can tell whoever has participated, whoever already logged in. You can tell them that uh, you can guide your friends. These are the ways they can log into Zoom. Or if they've already logged in, you can tell them that uh, after that, what they are going to do. So basically, you should know about Zoom login. You should know about assigning host and co-host option because uh, most of the events would demand assigning co-host option once uh, they have given the host access to you. If the event organizer has given the host access to you, if you are going to make the speaker speak next, you should make him as co-host so that he can share the screen and if he wants, he can control the mute option, all those things. So that one you should learn. You should know about uh, mute options, unmute options and also there's something called as mute all. Just in a single click, you can mute everyone. You should know about this option. You should know about video on and off for the participants as well, not only your video. For example, uh, if you have allowed participant to show their video, most of them would have turned on the video. But if something goes in the background that's not uh, 
uh, appropriate for a conference in that case what you can do you can turn off that video so mc has to keep monitoring that and when there are a lot of speakers on the stage and uh, you have a panel if someone is speaking for a long time you should know to spotlight them so you should understand the spotlight option as well and screen of screen sharing options usually the uh, speakers would share the screen however mc should also know the nuances of the screen sharing in case somewhere the speaker struggles mc can guide the speaker saying that so these are the functions you'll be getting so this way you can handle it or sometimes they will ask the mc to share the screen if the speaker screen is not working they will ask mc or any of the technical team they can uh, project uh, they will have the ppt and they can do that so you should learn that as well and you should explain the audience about the chat window as i said uh, you'll be muting the audience most of the time because when more than two persons speak definitely it's not going to serve the purpose it's going to be huge disturbance in the conference so you will have except the speaker you'll have everyone on mute but if the audience need to converse if the audience uh, needs to get back to uh, the speaker's question the only way is they can message in the chat so you'll be explaining them where there will be the chat window if you're on laptop you'll explain the audience if you're on laptop it will be in the right side or what's over if you're on mobile these are the ways you need to find your chat box if you're on ipad these are the ways so mc mc should know all these things and mc would explain to the audience like these are the ways you can communicate with us and very importantly mc should be aware of his or her background and the lighting for example right now you could see a plain background of mine and also with proper lighting sometimes when i go on a casual call i may go with little poor camera that is my laptop webcam i don't mind doing that but when i come for a professional event people uh, should see my proper background they should see my face so that they can read out from my lips or whatsoever it should be presentable starting from your costume starting from your backdrop starting from your lighting you have to be aware of that in case you don't have the infrastructure definitely i understand in this lockdown period most of us don't have proper infrastructure our cam may not be working we don't have time or we don't have money or uh, we don't have proper resource to go out and uh, solve it sort it out but definitely you need to do something if you are an anchor of the event you are going to be the face of the event so you should have a proper camera it, it may not be extraordinary quality but at least to a certain level that the audience can see your face audience can listen to your voice properly and also the background noise when you are doing the hosting the event there should not be much background noise so these are the things you have to select and you should have a power backup whether your laptop or, or your mobile you shouldn't it shouldn't drain out of the battery you have to make sure that before the event you have kept everything fully charged if you want you can have your power bank if you want you can have a ups at your room inverter or whatsoever and finally in spite of all these things sometimes you may have the challenge that is the internet which is not in our control at all if at all that happens so always you should have one or two backup persons if you have logged in in one end you can have another person logged in at the other end maybe your friend or your co-mc or your organizer also if you have two systems or a laptop and a mobile you can uh, log in in one in laptop you can log in other in the mobile and one of the things you can have it with the mobile data one you can have with your broadband one with your mobile data so that in case your broadband is not working immediately you can switch out your mobile and you can uh, handle the situation so these are the ways you should be uh, kept yourself you should keep yourself prepared so that uh, the event goes smooth without any single lag in the event so basically i have shared in this uh, what i have shared in this video is how to host a conference in a physical event and how to host a conference in this virtual world and what are the ways mc should be uh, kept themselves mc should keep themselves prepared in terms of the mc skills knowing about the event and also in terms of the technical skills as well if you have any questions you can contact me on my mobile number 9003087198 alternate number 86102573395 you can get to know more about us in our website virtualeventmcs.com you can like our facebook page virtual event mcs to get regular updates about our online events also you can watch our videos in our youtube channel virtual event mcs and also chennai event mcs thank you have a great time and all the best for your events